Welcome back to episode 12 of the No Money Spent. So this might be our biggest episode so far just based off progression. So what we did is we started filling up and building up our collections. So pretty much for every single team and we're going to go through all of them, unlock like the, the collection rewards for whatever teams we did. But we went through and bought every single common player, bronze player, silver player, and even gold player for every single team. And yesterday, after I sold my cover athlete cards, and I did sell them all, so I sold them. I was around 420k. I think I spent like 80k on just filling up the collections, just buying up all the commons, bronze, silvers, and gold players. That was like 80k. And then I did buy some other cards too along the way. So that's why we're down to 290k. I'm also experimenting a little bit with something else but that's a whole different thing so as far as collections go we got i think a lot to go over so the first one being the orioles we're gonna get this 82 darren oak day card and he does have hip good hit per nine and k per nine numbers i don't know i've always liked using him as a bullpen guy so i think he could be pretty solid if we throw him in there for a gold arm and you know we got the orioles done so that's one card added to added to the collection. Now, I could have done like the Red Sox. You know, Chris Sale is a card that's kind of cheap. And maybe that's something we do throughout this next week. But I just wanted to sit a little bit, see if his price goes down. And maybe after Tuesday, we'll, uh, we'll pick him up. But I definitely wanted to do some collections before the roster update hits on Friday, I think it is. Yankees, I did pick up Aaron Judge just because... I don't know. Aaron Judge is my favorite player. I wanted to have him for like when we're playing events and stuff like that. So I probably will pick up Gary Cole soon and then we'll get Gary Sanchez probably this week. But other than that, we did do the Tampa Bay Rays. So we got Jose Alvarado, 85 overall. Another bullpen guy that is not only a lefty, but he does have great hit per nine and K per nine numbers. Has a two seam fastball slider, curveball, four seam. So I'm hoping he's going to be a solid guy to add to our bullpen. We don't have that many diamond arm. I mean, we do. We have like four or five, I think. But we don't have any diamond. No, we do have a diamond lefty. We got Andrew Miller. But now he's our second diamond <laughs> diamond guy. That's a lefty in our bullpen. So, you know, I think that's a nice addition. So we got the Rays done. And then who else here? We didn't do the Blue Jays, but just showing off. Like we got every bronze player, common, silver, gold. So we have a lot of gold players too, I guess. So that's kind of nice. We didn't do the White Sox or the Indians. I pretty much did every card or every team that doesn't have a diamond. So here we did the Tigers. We're going to get Hal Newhausen, 81 overall. I mean, this card looks nice, but he has no control. Probably a card we won't even use, to be honest. You know, we'll just wait until he gets a diamond card later in the year. And I will say like some of these gold cards, especially for teams like the Tigers that don't have diamonds, they do have like high rated or high price common players and silvers and stuff like that like buyers with 3k which i guess isn't that bad but some of these other collections aren't really like some of the goals don't go for that much now for the royals we'll get 86 eric Hosmer. now i'm only doing the royals because i packed salvador perez if i didn't pack him i probably wouldn't have done him uh Hosmer, probably not really a card we would use you know good contact versus righties that's about it good defender but either way, you know, we'll get this collection done. I probably also could have focused on divisions. Like if I did the whole AL Central, for example, I could have got Grady Sizemore. But I didn't want to go that route. Honestly, I was thinking about picking up Mike Trout and just having this collection done since we got Otani already. But I had to skip out on that. Trout will probably be one of the last players we get. But I definitely think I'll do the AL collection before... I do the NL collection. So with the A's, we're going to get an 82 Riley Fingers card. Has good K per nine number. Uh, sinker, slider, fastball. Not a bad gold arm. But I think we're almost getting to the point where, you know, we're like two, three arms away from having a full diamond bullpen. So is he a card we're really going to use? Maybe in certain events and stuff like that, which events is definitely a mode we play a lot. Now the Mariners, they're a team we could have done. Kind of the same with like the Yankees and the Red Sox. We might just hold off throughout this week and see if their prices go down. Same with the Rangers, but we did pick up, you know, every other card. Now the Braves, yeah, we don't have Acuna or Olsen. Those ones are probably going to take a while, especially Acuna. We did do the, the Marlins right here. So I think there was like a Marlin that was super expensive. Like when a new card comes in on roster updates, 
there's some players that their price is like 2k i think i spent like 6k on three or four different bronze players combined but we get this 84 gary sheffield card good contact versus lefties you know i'm not really using gold cards at this point but he is a solid bat for you know events or maybe br and stuff like that so gary sheffield's right there the Mets is another one that if I really wanted to, we could go out and get a Scherzer, but Scherzer is 64K, which is pretty high. I did parallel five my Jacob deGrom since we packed him on day one, and we've pretty much used him in all this offline content. But this 96 Gary Carter card looks really, really nice. I just, like, I don't want to spend all my stubs either. I want to have some reserve stubs. So being at 294, or whatever we're at right now, is like, I'm fine with being right there. Now, we didn't do the Phillies. We didn't do... Oh, no, actually, we can do the Nationals. Yeah, we can do the Nationals. We packed Juan Soto, so I picked up Strasburg. We're going to get a Diamond Steven Strasburg, which, again, looks okay. You know, 74 hit per 9, 94 K per 9. Got the 98 fastball, 82 slurve, 97 two seam, and an 88 circle change. So is he a starter that we're really going to use? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, but, you know, we're going to pick up that collection, lock in Juan Soto. And then next team is the Cubs. So we kind of got lucky, but this collection was already pretty cheap. We packed Horner and we packed the Suzuki card, which is probably the most expensive for the Cubs. But we'll get this 84 Kyle Hendricks. And I've mentioned this before. One of the things that I don't like is that some collection rewards are gold players. They, they really should make everyone a diamond player, even if it's an 85. But we got Kyle Hendricks. You know, he's okay. Not really a card that we are going to use and for most of these cards you know we'll, we'll go over a little bit how we were approaching it and whatnot and just picking up cards but obviously you want to pick them up at the cheapest possible price you don't want to straight up buy them so we also got i think the reds the reds is going to give us an 83 tony perez so really we're getting a lot of gold cards from these collections that we're not even going to use you know at least like the rays gave us a diamond and whatever other another team gave us a diamond right I, I think so i think so we got the pirates next and we'll get this 82 willie stargell card actually he's not a bad bat you know he could be a good player off the bench especially versus right-handed pitchers so this one's not that bad as a gold card but he's not a starter for us we still get this one done and get willie stargell right there and then i think we only have a few more left yeah, like we didn't do the Diamondbacks, even though Kittel Marte is pretty cheap, kind of fits into the mix of other players. But I do want to flip a little bit and see if we can make some stubs. I'm trying to experiment with something which might take forever to do. But I guess I'll see if that's something that works out at the end. But we're going to get this 84 Larry Walker card. Great contact versus lefties. That's about it. So another one added to the collection. And is that it for collections? I think it, no, we got one more. We got the Giants. The Giants was a pretty cheap one too. We'll have Willie McCovey. And he's also a really solid guy to bring off the bench. You know, 110 power, why not? You know, I don't think I would start him. Kind of the same with Stargell. But a bench bat, great power numbers right there. We got Willie McCovey. So I'm pretty sure that's all the teams that we had. Now again, we pretty much don't have any of the teams that have diamonds, but we did complete 12 collections. So we're, we're kind of getting there, but we're not really because with the remaining teams, I'm pretty sure I need 1.3 million. So we have 300K. I need another million stubs to finish up collections. But again, I'm trying to experiment a little bit and see if we can maybe invest in, or not invest, but just flip certain types of cards to see if we can profit but i think maybe this week especially if we can flip and make some stubs we might do the teams that have one diamond on their squad so like the red sox the yankees maybe the twins the mariners the rays you know that's five teams right there and then i think that would probably be it to be honest maybe like the cardinals i don't think they would be that expensive and even the diamondbacks like here trey turner is going to be very expensive you know that's going to be one of the last cards I think we get same with that now another collection is the the free agents so i definitely recommend doing this if you collect 200 of them you get a ball and is a habit 10 show packs five show packs and another show pack so 16 show packs and a decent amount of stubs so what are we gonna do we're collecting these 100 percent give me these packs we're gonna go open these up and see if we pack anything good 
But the reason that we did collections kind of now or just started working on them, obviously I could wait, but the reason that I did it is so now anything we pack, we know it's instant stubs coming in because the only thing that we don't have are diamond players. We have every other thing. So like me opening up this silver pack, I already know that stubs coming in. So pretty much from here on out, anything we open is stubs, unless it's a diamond player. But pretty much anything that we open pack wise is free stubs and then we'll go through our inventory i don't know every couple days like francisco lindor easy stubs that's 2k right there um we might actually hold on to him because i think he's he's playing pretty well so far or at least i think he is i don't really know but like that's a player we'll hold on to and if it, at any point he goes diamond you know there's some even more stubs but yeah like rizzo easy stuff so that's kind of why we work on you know just opening up our packs and getting collections done kind of early and then now again you know throughout the rest of the year anything we pack is pretty much free stubs for us and as i was mentioning like we'll probably we'll probably clear out our inventory and sell our duplicates probably once or twice a week so we got glass now actually a free agent i didn't know he was a free agent but i mean he's not a free agent he's just injured so we got a couple of golds, which is not bad, but it doesn't look like we're going to pack a diamond, I don't think. Wow, we packed three golds. Crazy. Because I have not been packing any golds from any of these packs for so long. So I guess we'll take all the gold players. You know, again, easy stubs right there, free stubs, and we'll take what we can get. But let's see if we can maybe get lucky in these last couple of packs. And then the set four headliner, that is from the event. So we are still working on the event. Actually, I did unlock the Tim Salmon card. So I can show that really quickly after this. But we got Tim Salmon. We're working on that event. We're going to definitely progress towards the 30 wins and get whatever else. Chance at Mariano Rivera. That wouldn't be bad. You know, a nice solid bullpen arm, I think. And no diamond right there. Kevin PR. And then balling is a habit. Do we get a diamond? No diamonds yet. No diamonds today. So Kenley Jansen goes for 900 stubs. And yeah, you know, those are our packs right there. But I can't really show off my uh, my like active orders and stuff because I'm trying to see something. But again, just with like, when you're looking for players, you know, the easiest thing, I don't know why I went there. We should just go live series cards. But when you're looking at collections, make sure you're buying it at the cheapest price. So like DJ LeMay who... Actually, 400 is his cheapest, but I would put an order in at 401, you know? You don't have to put it like 20, 20 stubs above because you're wasting your stubs. Just penny pinch, you know? Put it one, one stub over what the current price is and then hope you get it. And then same thing if you're selling cards. Just put it one under. So, you know, if you're trying to flip, that's the way you can flip too. Just look for certain gaps and stuff like that. But that's our progression for today. We got 12 collections done. We got 18 to go. But I think overall, like, that's, that's solid progression. And like I said, we have all the commons, the bronze, the silvers, and the golds. So anything we pack that's in that tier, free stubs for the rest of the year. And we just got to go through our inventory and sell everything off. But let me know how you guys are doing so far with collections. You know, collections, I feel, this, I feel like this year, it's going to take a little bit longer unless you start flipping stubs. But also this upcoming week with the new program coming out, hopefully a lot of stubs coming in and free packs to open up. So maybe we strike big. Also, there probably should be a new mini season. We shouldn't be having a lot of packs coming in the next week or two. So that's going to really help with building up the stub counts. And, you know, we'll obviously make some more progression after that. But again, let me know how you guys are doing so far with your collections, how many teams you have collected so far. And until the next one, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, drop a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out.